We're finally fixing the biggest problem in my Turbo Z. You guys already know I have a really bad exhaust leak. I have to fix it. But I decided, you know what? Let me not only fix the exhaust leak. Let's change the sound completely. Woo! I'm hyped. What up, my boy? Oh, what the? I just, oh my, I almost crashed. I'm opening this. There's people walking. There's a truck. <laughs> Everything sounds pretty good. I mean, nothing's nothing's wrong, to be honest. Uh, that guy just parked over. I don't know who that is. But if you come to this side, you can clearly hear here. There's a very bad exhaust leak that we must fix. It's been way too long. Our boost isn't hitting how it should hit, so we gotta fix it. And we're going for something extremely different. We're gonna get to that when I get home real quick. But first, before we go home, I want to see how this car sounds now and then compare it to the new exhaust. So you know what that means. <laughs> I guess we're to see the new exhaust going in the Z. I'm honestly like, this is a dream come true exhaust right here. Look at the quality of this. It's crazy. Look at the welds. Look at this, OEM welds. It's even got an OEM stamp. Look at this, N Nissan Calsonic. Woo, here we go. The box is kind of small as you can see. Oh, but either way, got some down pipes, baby. These are actually high flow cats. Crazy, right? Test pipes were my first ever big modification on my car. Like five years ago, four or five years ago. And finally, <laughs> the gaskets are pretty much done, especially with all the boots from the turbo, they're done. So now we're actually going to high flow cats. I was told it should be as loud, but it's gonna be a little deeper tone. No more with those. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why did they just send me a cat? I'm so confused right now. Ooh, our gaskets. Nice. I was looking at the welds and they look very, very good. And also inside, you want to find exhaust. I'll probably show you the ones from eBay that I have on the car when I get it out. You want to find exhaust where the inner part here is welded, where it's not two separate metals. But okay, we got dump pipes, also known as test pipes. <laughs> and I don't know why they sent me out this. Uh, extremely funny. So these are two and a half inch. I believe the ones that I have on, now that I think about it, we're gonna double check it away. But I think those are 2.25. So we might have a little bit more airflow, which is truly awesome. It's two bolts down here and then three up there. Oh, yo. I just realize why the exhaustic is so bad check this out i see anything suspicious going on here maybe like there's a bolt missing oh my goodness that's so bad look at the airplane <laughs> look at the airplane yeah yeah over there look at the airplane my life was never easy my life was never easy Look at this. Trash. All right, so I just remembered why. When I did test pipes five years ago, we had to go from the top. Thankfully, I don't have the stock intakes and I don't have to take this off. We can see the bolt right up there so the nut instead of the other nuts facing towards the back of the car the nut is facing the top of the car i don't why would nissan do this like two good studs and then one reverse stud so we're gonna put a crap ton of extensions grab the breaker bar break the bolt 
That is just weird, honestly. That's so weird. Why? You're just making our life harder. You good? This thing wasn't even tight. That's good news when taking it off. Oh, thank God that wasn't even tight, honestly. All right, so here we have pipe numero uno. I mean, it honestly doesn't look bad. As you can see, I was right about this one. It is not welded on the inside. So the new one we're putting on is definitely much better. See this one, you got a little cat right here. This one, you have a zero cat. Yikes. They literally just sent me out bolts that don't even fit through the hole of the downpipe. <laughs> Bro, how do you mess this? <sighs> Doesn't fit. This one fits. But the other two? Nope. And I would use the OEM ones, but they didn't even fit. Oh, wait. Wow. Yeah, I guess you could say I'm an idiot. <laughs> I was about to start complaining. Nah, they go thread it on. I totally didn't realize that, so. We're good, we're good. I had to make the world's longest extension to get the bolt from the left because this piping is in the way and I can't get up there. Uh, please don't snap, please don't snap, please don't snap, please don't snap. Oh wait, did I just... Look the other way, way better. Finally, I forgot how annoying it is to work on cars when you're on jack stands. It started for startup on the new exhaust setup. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm so freaking excited. The keys, uh, I'm so nervous because I don't know how it's going to sound like. I've heard I'm going to like it much better, but I'm still a little iffy, a little nervous. It's better. All right, here we go. Here we go. especially on a cold start oh there we got more smoke yes sir i can't wait to take it off for a rip i need to take it off for a rip but are uh, we gotta check for exhaust leaks first that's uh very important don't really hear any exhaust leaks Dude, 
This is so nice. Oh my gosh. No way. This is so good. Yes. It's not like horrible drone that makes you want to literally jump out the window. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now the sound, it's its not in the cabin anymore. It's like back there. You can hear it outside of the car. This is actually incredible. Wow. I am shocked. And I'm not overreacting. I promise you I'm not. Follow your word. See what you say. like a jet and it's wait rev can you rev it i want to hear it from the outside <laughs> i like it i like it comment below what do you like better the old exhaust setup or the new one i don't think it's big of a difference here let me the car real quick Baby. I remember this one gets the Miami. This color is the Miami nice. blue. Yeah. It's got a roll cage. Dude, it's even got grass in here. What would you guys do? What do you see? I don't want to see. I know for a fact this one is not supposed to be that bent. <laughs> I know for a fact I replaced that last time. So you've already fixed this one? Yeah, we've repaired this before. That's an that, and there's a rental by the way. <laughs> not from us, thank God. Yeah. Oh you even got dude we should we should at least take this off, bro. Take the fucking recreation thing bro, for the if, beach. What if they want to take it to the beach? <laughs> oh you're right, you're right. There's yeah, that's that's weird. Oh, it's good that. It's just agua. All right, first ride in the Z. Bro, there's no video and no nothing that can explain the little. <laughs> <laughs> and this is like not on race gas and I can't go too, too fast because as Eric said, we're not actually, the tune isn't right right now. So when we're racing gas to the right tune, we're gonna come back. Yeah. And we're also doing like second gear folds. I was telling him like when you go from second to third, that's when this car gets a little crazy. I drive a cheap. Is not like that. <laughs> okay, well we weren't supposed to accelerate, but we kind of had to for the for the brother. Absolutely love the new setup. Let me know what you guys think. This car drives like a dream now. Like the noise, a dream. Like yes. Woo! When you fix the boost lag and the exhaust, this car feels like a complete different car. When we get it fully tuned or to retune, 
I will make a video comparing the boost leg before the exhaust and then after we fix the exhaust leak. I feel like now it will be like a wacky review. I need a couple days to really drive it, but so far the boost heats hits way sooner and like drive, the drivability, I'm gonna say it again. Oh my gosh, it's a different car. End it off right there. I love you guys. Leave a big thumbs up on this video. The support of the channel has been incredible. The support of the Spanish channel has been incredible. I legit have the best supporters in the world, like, I really do.